Hey guys! Good morning! Welcome back to our channel, The Eaton Squad. So on today's video is a heads up to all passengers flying with EVA Airlines. Coming right up. So for some reason, I have missed this update when EVA Airlines has posted this advisory to their website until a colleague of mine has told me that there are changes for EVA Airlines passengers and that is what we are going to talk about today. So as we all know, if you guys are flying with EVA Airlines, they will have a layover in Taipei Airport. Before Taipei Airport is open to all transit passengers that has layover of less than 8 hours, they will not require any negative swab test result. But starting December 1, the Taipei Airport is now requiring a negative swab test result from all passengers that is issued in 72 hours. Let's get into the details of this advisory. The Central Epidemic Command Center or CECC on Wednesday, November 25, said that all persons arriving in Taiwan without proof of a negative coronavirus test beginning December 1 will receive heavy fines except to those who have been excused by health authorities. Earlier last week, the CECC revealed its winter epidemic prevention protocol and said that all travelers to Taiwan, regardless of nationality or purpose of arrival, will be required to present a negative coronavirus test within three days of their departure. The new measure is expected to last until February 28, 2021. During a regular press conference Wednesday afternoon, Health Minister and CECC Head Chen Shui Chong emphasized that heavy fines will be issued to individuals who choose to neglect the new rule. He said the negative test requirement is aimed to help airlines ensure passenger safety and avoid huge crowds lighting up for coronavirus tests at the airport. Chen said violators will not only be ineligible for the government's quarantine subsidy but also receive fines between $351 for violating the Communicable Disease Control Act. They will also be subject to criminal liability if they infect another person with coronavirus, he added. The health minister mentioned that the only exemptions to the requirement are the people who come to Taiwan for emergency or have difficulty obtaining a COVID-19 test in their residing countries, such as Tuvalu, Noe, Fiji, and Tonga. He said Taiwanese or foreign nationals who obtain special permission from the CECC will be excused for not submitting a negative COVID-19 test report prior to boarding their flight, reported CNA. So this was an article posted in Taiwan News. Now let's go over the travel restrictions from the EVA Airlines website itself. Passengers are not permitted to transit through Taiwan unless they meet all the following conditions. Number one, they are flying with China Airlines, EVA Air, or Cathay Pacific. Number two, they are arriving and departing with the same airline. Number three, they are in transit for no more than eight hours. Number four, they are not departing from or transiting to China. And number five, they meet the entry requirements for their final destination. All passengers, including passengers in transit, must hold a negative COVID-19 test result certificate issued within three working days prior to departure, or they will be fined between $351 and may face liability. The three days are counted from the test report date and do not include public holidays in the country or region the certificate was issued or the day of scheduled time of departure. The certificate must be written in English or Chinese or exceptionally in French or Spanish provided it is the official language of the passenger's departure location. It must be issued by a medical institution deemed qualified by the local government in the passenger's departure location. 
and it must clearly include the name on the passport of the passenger, the date of birth or passport number, the specimen collection date and test report date, the virus name, testing method, and the result. The negative test result must be stated as negative or undetectable and must be obtained through a nucleic acid test including PCR, real-time PCR, RT-PCR, or RTQ-PCR. So please take note to all passengers flying with EVA Airlines, they are now requiring a negative RT-PCR test before you are accepted to board the plane and you will have a layover in Taipei Airport, then proceed to your final destination. So please, please take note of this new advisory from EVA Airlines. Also, call EVA Airlines when it is getting close to your departure date to know the most updated requirements when you fly with EVA Air. Please remember that all these protocols and all these reminders and all these advisories are subject to change anytime. So it is really important that you check, research, call who you need to call to know the most updated advisories of respective airlines, especially when you plan to travel during the time of the pandemic. Thank you so much guys for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family whom you know that can use this video as reference. And if you are not a subscriber to our channel yet, please consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so you will be notified for updates like this. And to our new subscribers, thank you, thank you so much for the continuous support and continuous trust to our channel, The Eaton Squad. I hope to see you guys on our next travel update. Stay safe, stay healthy, and God bless everyone. Bye! All right.